I have a Class B RV that has a built-in very small wet bath, which I have never used. How did I make use of that dead space instead? Stay tuned and you'll find out some amazing things. First off, I must make this disclaimer. I served on a nuclear fast attack submarine for several years, so I am used to cramped spaces and making the most of them. On my Class B RV camper van, I found the wet bath to be a total bother in having to take things out you didn't want wet, then having to dry down everything afterwards. It was just too much work for on the road travel. The first thing I did to improve the usefulness of this cramped closet bathroom was to replace the single towel bar rack with a curved multi-towel holder. Here I have two microfiber towels for the dogs, two microfiber towels for me, along with hand towels and face towels in a nice little neat rack on the wall. Luckily. There was a lower shelf with a bar across it that holds some of my larger bathroom items I use daily. Next, I added a toilet roll right at the height for me. I do not use RV toilet paper or flush it down the toilet since it eventually screws up the tank sensors. So I neatly place it in the garbage bag next to me in the toilet and I spray it with a little Lysol each time. I now use the regular household toilet paper, which is much sturdier and one that you don't put your finger through when you're trying to get that deep clean like the bears always advertise on the commercials. I placed the garbage bag holder in the bathroom since it takes up less space there than out in the RV aisle where the dogs are or under the sink taking up valuable storage space. I notched it and it snaps right over the bar that holds the other items in place. I replaced the stubby faucet with a tall gooseneck faucet for easier use and also added holders for my toothbrush, toothpaste, hand soap and other items. Since I was not going to use my wet bath as such, I had no qualms over screwing in fixtures. I also used adhesive net bags for other items stored on the walls. One game changer was the addition of the medicine cabinet. For some it might make a cramped space worse. But like I said, I was used to life on a submarine for nine months at a time. This emptied out several smaller containers that gave me more room in the RV wall cabinets and made daily use of items quickly and easily accessible. I also have a collapsible bassinet I use for washing myself when boondocking long periods of time hanging on the wall inside the bathroom. On the floor I have cut out and fit a rubber bathtub mat to keep dirt from going down the drain and to make a slip proof floor. I have also velcroed two baskets to the floor on each side of the toilet to hold other toiletries and cleaning supplies neatly. I also have command hooks up to hold my river booties and other items behind the toilet. When I took out the shower curtain from behind the door, I found I had lots of wall space. I made use of that by attaching command hooks and grips that hold my house broom, my awning crank, my extendable windshield brush, and my Swiffer ceiling fan duster I can use for dusting off my roof solar panels. On the inside of my bathroom door, I have screwed in a pocket organizer which I store useful dog items and other items I often use. As you can see, 
This is just a one-person bathroom. Sorry, Sarah. No room for you. Yes, yes. Um, toilet dispenser here is right where I want it. And everything else in here I arranged for my height, my body build, my ease of use. Got my medicine cabinet here. Mirror. I can brush my teeth, shave. Um, pretty much do what I need to do in here. The medicine cabinet, when I put it in, uh, eliminated probably half a dozen little containers that I had all my paraphernalia in that was taking up room up in the upper cupboards. So by getting this and installing it and using it just like a medicine cabinet you'd have at home, I opened up a lot more space in my overhead cabinets also. So it was a win-win. And uh, of course my shower handle here, my collapsible bassinet down here by my knees and uh, everything is well within reach well very compact space used arrangement it has worked for me for quite a few years now and uh, I'm very pleased with it so I think uh, I think that's it oh wait one thing before you go like I say, I've always got these ideas just zooming through my head like a freeway. And uh, I almost forgot that the toilet here, one of my new ideas, my plans, is to take this toilet off the base here, clean out, shut off my black tank, and get a compost toilet to put on the, the pedestal here, the base, instead that, I believe, will extend my ability to stay out longer than I possibly can now. Because, you know, messing with the black tank, it's easy, but it's also a mess. You got to carry a bunch of extra gear for it and stuff like that. So, I think... Composting toilets for RVs have come a long, long ways in the past five years. And I'm seriously starting to consider researching those and finding one that fits my little compact RV and fits my needs as far as the ease of use and uh, the ease of maintenance. So that's one of the things hopefully I might have done next summer before our next big trip. So stay tuned. I'll certainly have a video on, on that too. So like the girls and I always say, we wish you happy trails and woof woof.